Okay, okay, okay. Let's play the game. E. Stop, 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 stop. Don't let them drag you down. <laughs> what what food did you order, Bird? What are you eating? I ordered Shizwan something. I don't remember. It's Chinese food. Shizwan? So, Amazon Prime Now restaurant orders. Um, apparently added a new feature where you can reorder stuff that you like. So, oh. it just I just opened up the website and it was like, you want this shit again? I was like, yes. It was like, good. <laughs> and then I laughed the website. <laughs> it was the best... It was the best ordering experience of my life. Because I know I'm gonna like it. And it took one second. <laughs> this is why like, Jeff Bezos is rich. One of my goals <laughs> is to have an income where I can just have takeout forever. I enjoy cooking. I've gotten really good at it lately. I you're suck. going to be you're going to be like a monster humanoid by the time like we finally get to see each other. Takeout face doesn't have to be unhealthy. Again. I mean, it just has to be expensive because it's not the same thing as buying a whole bunch of food and slowly preparing it at, at a reasonable I, I feel like if Dude. I ever live close to you uh, for any reason, our first series is going to be Wanderbot and Shell teach Keith how to adult. No. <laughs> I don't need to adult. I just need I... to get morbidly rich so I can have a personal chef. <laughs> you, can, you need to That's get like morbidly the one thing rich I want. so you can become morbidly <laughs> obese. I get it. I see how it is. <laughs> no, I'm terrified of actually getting fat. Yeah. Yeah? How come? Because your skin doesn't go back. Well, That's does. the scariest well, it, shit. It does. Things. It does. People that, like, stretch They're out fine. so far because they get morbidly obese and then they, like, then they're, like, I now have, like, oh, yeah, I'm skinny now, but my front is, like, an accordion. Well, I mean, the nature is you have to, you have and to. You can get surgery. Way. Yeah, yeah you that's not great surgery. either. Like, yeah, that's not a. That's not I don't want to hit that kind of rock want. bottom ever. No, <laughs> I've been comfortably riding the borderline of overweight, and that's it. <laughs> let's, let's not fucking over exaggerate what territory I go in here. Like I yeah. like cross the line from normal weight to overweight, which is a surprisingly low bar. <laughs> oh no, it's pretty easy to go to overweight. I'm like yeah. probably yes. two or three BMI points. Been, and I've never been past overweight. There's a whole bunch of other scary colors after that. <laughs> and yeah. I, and I, There's two! There. <laughs> yeah, that's that's too many. They're all okay. scary. I think, it, for you. I think in terms of BMI, I'm probably... I think I'm like a point or two below overweight. Ah. And it's just it's like, if I gain five pounds in there, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. There's like yeah, literally yeah. less pounds than there are points before I'm overweight. <laughs> I, just, I, just I need to, I need like to commit BMI like some like sort of alchemy between myself and uh, Andrew. BMI <laughs> is also like because he's dangerously the underweight. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, BMI is stupid. It should it should it's used to measure populations, not individuals. Well, yeah. Shell, Shell likes to be like, okay, so you need to lose like 40 pounds to be in like the healthy range of BMI. I'm like, that makes no sense. <laughs> that's slightly terrifying. Yeah, that, that's uh, pretty weird. Yeah, and like and Andrew and I are about the same height. I'm a few inches taller, but I'm twice the weight because he's a skeleton man. And well, like, I mean, he smokes, which is happen? like he smokes a lot yeah. too, which well, like yeah, does a lot to yeah, produce your appetite. 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 Yeah. Uh, is that some kind of dinosaur? It's actually a genuine like efficiency loss when we're recording, because like, hey, we, we record like an hour of smoke break, and we record another hour of smoke. I'm like, how you? How is there so many smoke breaks in this day? <laughs> it's actually like alarming how often he well, like go out. Well, I mean, and, and it's a we, big it's a big time loss because he specifically doesn't smoke in his house ever, yeah. which is a good practice, but also means that he doesn't smoke while recording ever. So, when like, we have die to, like, from stop. lung cancer is a man's actual goal. Ooh. He is going to pro uh, progress towards that. Hey, twenty-five percent of his Captain life Anime. is, is Keith, a smoke break. Keith, look at these things. You see these things? What yeah. Things am I looking these at? things are fucking awesome. Have you ever seen these yeah. things in real life? They're the coolest thing I've ever seen. They are. Like the, me they, the mega you, ever you just blew one up. <laughs> then. Well, there's more for now. <laughs> you know how much like one of these things costs? They're like millions of dollars Lots. to make. They're so oh, awesome. Yeah. They use them, uh, for people who don't know, those like big crane things that Wanderers got me blowing up, those are used to load uh, super freighters. Um, and regular freighters too, I would imagine. But they're used to load like... Crane things. Yeah, they basically like, you put like two trillion dollars worth of goods Shit, underneath more. them, and then they put them on a boat. And um, what was really funny is uh, somebody explained to me how those get shipped across the world. Because they basically get made in one spot in China. 
Uh, they put them, they, they load them up onto a super freighter and then like ship them across the world and then take them off the super yes, freighter so dead. they can load super freighters. Super freight, super freight. She's super freight, eh? Anyway, they're awesome and Wander just blew up like millions of dollars worth of shit. <laughs> yeah, every single one of them. It's one of those bizarre... But th th at the same time, I don't think they would just disintegrate like that, because they're like, yep. <laughs> new, basically. No, it's, like the, it's like the equivalent of like having a... Yeah. It's like when you see a video of like a, of a boat transporting boats. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a super freighter that transports super freighter loaders. It's a boat that takes boats to other places like they can go be boats. <laughs> Remind me when EDF5 comes out so I can name myself Captain Collateral Damage instead of Captain Anime. Captain Collateral. <laughs> That's a good one. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, yes. getting fat. What were we talking about before getting fat? There was something funny I wanted to say. That's pretty much where we started. There was something yeah. funny I wanted to say, something though. It was something about ordering takeout. Oh. Oh, yeah, Jeff, yeah. Jeff Bezos. Okay, so Jeff Bezos is the richest man in the world right now who got his money not by, like, skimming government or, like, owning oil. I think, um, uh, I, I think Bill Gates actually just finally passed him again. Oh, Is the richest maybe. man at this point? Is that Oprah? Or is yeah. it... So, no, there's that. Isn't there that lady in Australia that's rich as fuck who sh should not be because she's a terrible person? Because <laughs> that's how money works is moral. So anyway, as a joke, I decided I was going to email Jeff Bezos. So I sent him an email with a link to that article, and the bot uh, and underneath that it just said "You're welcome." And I'm looking forward to uh, getting my inevitable <laughs> response or not. <laughs> or your new job. <laughs> or you go find another one. I didn't actually do that, but I I it would be I thought about it and then I was like Which is almost uh, as good as doing things which is why a lot of people don't accomplish stuff. I think if I waste even like thirty seconds of Jeff Bezos' time, that's like what, seventy five thousand dollars? Of lost productivity. Oh, hey, it's this guy. I hey, know this they guy. Him. They capture him? No, he's sleeping. No, he's oh. a sleepies until I shoot him right now. Oh, why? They'll be so nice. Because he's a dick. Huh. Oh, he hurts me just if I touch him. Wait, I think I think we're doing the traditional kaiju storyline. What? I think he's going to become our friend. <laughs> No. No. Can't. Why you not? think this I game was programmed fact. to have that put into it? Hell no. We have allies on our team in this game. Oh no. I'm oh. saying like they're gonna do the traditional Godzilla thing where like it slowly becomes clear oh, that, the, that oh, the lizard oh, thing's on oh, our oh, team. No. You guys goofed hard. Why did you do that fucking Captain Anime? I didn't. I know. So that's, that's a, I'm the guy that that's put a story down the, array. I put down those stationary guns that are shooting him. I don't get the ability to artillery like that. No, I know. This That's I was just blaming you because I operate like an animal. It's and purely by association. So I've got really bad news for this round. I didn't What's bring that? guns that can shoot this thing. <laughs> well, Do you want to restart it right now? Because oh, we should I'm restart dead. it right now. Yeah, we should. We should. Wait, repeat. I'm gonna. What killed I'm me? Gonna roll. Uh, you got bombed too. Yeah. There was bombs. So what's the yeah. what's, where, where, What do we what, need? To, I didn't see more bombs happen. Shit. They happened. You need to pay attention oh. to your map. Um, what do we yeah. need to do to uh, to hurt this guy? Anything special? Uh, shoot him. All oh, all yeah. What did leave. What did you not have then? A uh, gun. so I went <laughs> I went air raider thinking I could bring one of my tanks, but I forgot um. you don't. So the way air raider works is every time you kill something, you get a small amount of points. Um, which is fine except for against one singular enemy there are no points ah fair point yeah so i was i'm gonna try like, out a melee weapon on this guy this will be interesting he probably can't hurt me <laughs> i'm sure you'll be fine we only the last thing that happened when we retreated was him charging forward through everybody but so you'll probably be fine i know you can just face tank it with your face I know. Sponsored by Amazon. That's the, that's the most tanky part of my body. This thing has a really Wait, shitty a fire rocket? rate. Oh my oh, god, I've got a... I've okay, got a... subtitle so I can understand these people better. They're like, so it's taking a hiatus. What does that mean? It's sleeping? I've got a rapid fire rocket launcher. This is amazing.
This gun makes me feel like an idiot. I mean, I really feel like this thing's gonna be like, it's gonna slowly become our friend over the course of the game, and then the final one is gonna fight an evil one. No. Kaiju fight. Did you beat the game hey, already? Bird, run. Bird, run. Bird, run. Have you already beat the entire game, Wonder? Ow. No. Can we oh, restart no, again? My happen. weapon is fucking atrocious. Uh, okay. Uh, this will be the last what? time. I I tried a new I tried a new weapon. It was it made me feel like an asshole. So I don't want to play play with it. <laughs> no, nothing makes like me more asshole. annoyed. Nothing ma nothing annoys me more than feeling like an idiot when I'm playing a video game. <laughs> Boy, uh, don't don't make one of your designated slots in your channel uh, constant stream of puzzle games then. <laughs> no, 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 I can play puzzle games just fine. I mean, like, okay, you get to the end of Hotline Miami, and the boss fight is literally you hug a fountain and try not to die. Like, that's stupid. That made me feel like a dumbass. I don't want to feel like a dumbass when I play video games. I want to feel cool. Nobody has any clue what the hell I'm talking about. Nope. I barely I remember never... what I'm talking about anyway. It's okay. I've never played any of the Hotline Miami games they I wonder if it fit in this thing's mouth. Me. Oh, I can't. Of course, why you would it be programmed also, to have that sort you of You should probably also get out of there before the, uh, the airstrikes kill no, you. No, no, no. I, I don't know why you guys are going over there. I'm I'm the aerator. When the airstrikes come in, I can just fly away. You tried that flying away. Last now time. get away. See, I'm fine. All you know, that bullshit about tests. being concerned for me because you're my friends and you don't want to restart the mission again. Most of the latter, not really so much the former. All that bullshit. Um, well, why was I mad I again? I care about you looking good and not having to revive your new mission. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyway, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I mean, here he comes! Like, right now? Oh, shit! Oh, I'm... oh okay. Oh my god, can you hear them all singing? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh shit, he's charging me again. I have to back away from the airstrike that decidedly missed him. Yes, so many oh, of them singing. Okay, Did there are two rounds of airstrike. Did they just airstrike all of the soldiers? Uh, yeah. they airstrike most of them, yes. Listen, they've got to save our Mother Earth from alien, alien attack. Oh god, no. Ah, ah. The other rough thing about fighting Why? Why are there so like many this? stupid ass airstrikes? Why are they airstriking all of the people? But Captain Collateral damage. I'm not that! This is me! I thought I was away from the airstrike. What the hell? And we I was don't have any... specifically away from it. Oh. We don't have any uh, HP pickups, so if we go no. down, we're Dunsky. Huzzah! Oh, I'm dead. For, oh my god. Well, fire. let's uh, nice. let's restart this one. Okay. My I favorite part idea. about this fight is how, how it takes like better. three minutes to start the fight because they sit there yeah. and freaking do this part. Wait, why are we restarting it? Because everyone died? Oh, yeah. I mean, I thought... I didn't know you could restart without going back to the menu. Yeah. That's basically what I was... Yeah, I just don't do it very often because usually we need to like redo things. But no, Truth. Uh, hey, Keith. Uh, so... After a short bit, all of these guys are going to get little uh, carrots above their heads. We want to recruit them as soon as they uh, as they become recruitable. And then I, we don't know, I don't know how to recruit okay. things. Uh, <laughs> that's an interesting question. I don't know. It's the interact button. Uh, do you know what button you use to get into tank my tanks? Yeah. It would be that one. There's the airstrikes. Look at those weird looking ships. That's what I get for not paying attention. Yeah, you're dumb. God uh, damn it. I may come get you in a bit, maybe. <laughs> I just found out that we can leave, like, waypoints. Yeah. That's weird. I can just mark things in the environment. Like oh, wow, what a ragdoll pose. Okay. Uh, Keith, apparently you can just walk next to them. So see if you can start uh, picking them up. Because if we can yeah, get these guys... How do you tell? <laughs> How do you tell they're on your team? Uh, they'll follow you around. 
motherfucker. Well, one way or another, I gotta leave because if I'm here, he's just gonna keep running me over and I'm gonna die instantly. Hello, Burp. Hello, Savior. Oh, Stop being L dead. Well, I it I doesn't matter. They a all, they're all dying anyway. Donker! Oh, oh Jeebles! I lived. Yeah, that, uh, that was interesting. Ah, oh, shit, he seems to be locked onto me. I'm oh, he's die. definitely trying to kill me, which is fine. Oh, an airstrike, great. Ah, uh, thanks for that, bro. Uh, fuck this mission. Wow. This mission is ass. The, the most dangerous thing is ourselves. Man is the real monster. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it, it was us all along that were the, okay, the true danger. Okay, one more time, I'm just gonna play the APC. Like, I'm just gonna play the Air Raider, bring the APC, and we're gonna go joyriding. Before we wait for the airstrike to kill this thing out. Uh, fuck this, Before can we, we restart die. again? I need to change my weapon. What are this you using? Here. Uh, are both of your weapons garbage, or just one of them? Because... Both are garbage, because I just wanna... I... I... Ugh. I need to get a ranged weapon. Okay. Like a long last ranged time. one. Let's... This will be the last time. I'll just snipe okay. at him, it'll be fine. This entire episode will just be us repeating this mission 17 times. <laughs> but it's a pain in the dick, dude. Tell me you're not, like, getting annoyed halfway to fucking... Uh, excuse me. I've had beer. <laughs> I have had beer, and I have not had dinner. I... yeah. Fair I point. have had Imperial IPA 9% by volume. So though I have one beer... It is actually more like two beer. Anyway. Oh, okay. See, this is what I wanted. Look at this. Look at this I have badass. Had water and sass. <laughs> Look at this badass thing compared to what I was using before. Yeah, I've had chocolate milk and stroganoff like six hours ago. I am starving. What is stroganoff? You've uh, never had beef stroganoff? Yeah. Oh, I, I assumed it was a drink when you said stroganoff. Oh yeah, I guess it does kind of sound like Smirnoff. I don't see. I, I I mean, I've had a number of food types. I'm bad at knowing what they're called. I've, I, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's just I'm. I don't. I don't know what beef well, stroganoff is. You but really I've had it. like you to, food is you your nemesis, dude. Yeah, I get. Yeah. I get a lot of shit during Zelda. Where it's like you don't know what that thing is or how to pronounce it, and I'm like, I don't. It's. it's it looks nice. <laughs> Actually, uh, Odin's Spear was way worse, actually. Because <laughs> it's like food porn in the game, and I'm like, I don't know what any of these things are, but they seem nice. Why? I'm curious, why have you, like, avoided learning about food so much? I'm going to die. Oh my god. You they interact with food. Game. You interact with food three times a day. Yep. And yet you've learned well. nothing. You've learned, learned nothing, Keith. Something. That doesn't mean I know what strong enough means. I learned what Stroganoff is from Calvin and Hobbes. Did you ever read Calvin and Hobbes? I did. Do you remember Stroganoff? No. Oh. Probably just forgot it. I also don't remember the names of any, like, cars, really, except for the ones I've owned. Like, there's certain things. A I, Ford I, I don't know. Pinto. A Ford Pinto. Ah. Oh, shit. Um... I also don't oh, really dear. know the names of people unless they're actually around on a regular basis. If I meet people at a party and then I don't see them for two months and then they're at another party and I'm like, I, I'm a, this is going to be an endless loop of me not knowing their name every time because it's been too long. I feel My like, brain didn't uh, know that those were ones I was supposed to remember. <laughs> I feel like I should play a car, me car mechanic simulator with like <laughs> you, Keith. I think we can do some shit like that doesn't make any sense. Because like... I feel Did like he just get just... stunned. Uh, he he jumped backwards. For some reason. Yeah, he kind of shook his head and jumped backwards. It was really really unusual. He might have just been clearing distance so he could then immediately jump directly at me, which kept, caught me entirely by surprise because I turned around because I'm trying to recruit all the NPCs, even though I'm not entirely sure if that's uh. Just go up to them and be like, whoa, lo, lo. dude, I wallowed all of them and then they got 
completely smushed, and I felt bad because I am the reason they are now dead. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Was there any was there any kind of joke built into the Pinto thing, or was that just a random selection? Making uh, those are really really bad cars. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. If you like, if if you like, I was gonna say the Reliant Robin, but then the joke moved on. And no, so my, like, first, oh, okay. my first car was an 82 Firebird, and my current car is a Honda Civic. You know what the Reliant Robin is, at least. Right, nope. Keith? Oh, wow. man. The Reliant oh, Robin is a, a fucking hilarious a car. Yeah. It's one of those jokes, like when everyone jokes about that one phone that's indestructible. N no. no. The Nokia or what? whatever. No, it's, it's the opposite. opposite. Is it the opposite? Actually, is it, oh, it's like a really shitty, like... It's one like of the shittiest I'm cars I've ever seen. It's one of the shittiest... I, Things is, it the, is it the car where if it got re-ended it exploded? No, that's, no, the, that's Pinto. the Pinto. That is oh. the Pinto. I know that reference. No, I no, okay. I didn't know what it was called. We want to tell you about the... Shh, we're going to tell you about the Reliant Robin, because it's really funny. <laughs> Wander, you seem really eager. You want to talk about the Reliant Robin. Okay, so the Reliant Robin... <laughs> I don't watch much Top Gear, but I watched that episode and I started watching Top Gear. <laughs> but when I do... So, um, the Reliant Wander Robin Tosekis, is man. a uh, cheap and oh, easy shit. to mass-produce car. Uh, produced largely in uh, Northern the UK. England. Yeah, yep. Northern England. Uh, because small roads, tight corners. Uh, people were broke. In, yeah, is what it were was. Hella <laughs> broke too. Yeah. Uh, so that that also kind of factored in. So um, it's a plastic car with three wheels. Yeah. But <laughs> instead of having the three wheels be two in the front, one in the back, it's two in the back and one in the front. Which means anytime you try and take a, uh, a corner, or you know, or going on a hill, you flip over. Yes, people make fun of smart cars. Well, see, like smart cars are actually you know well designed and have good centers of gravity and generally are actually kind of you know safe. They're uh, just embarrassing. Yeah, they're just embarrassing to look at. This thing like is Crocs. This thing is truly embarrassing. This is like um, Crocs is like knockoff. <laughs> uh, like a knockoff of a Chinese knockoff brand. It's so bad. So he um, mentioned Top Gear. He probably didn't yeah. explain why that is. There's a clip of Top Gear, well, which no, is it's like so a full great. Oh. It's a full 15 minute episode. It's great. Dedicated entirely to the Reliant Robin. And it's just like one of the hosts of Top Gear is just driving around, and every time he takes a corner, the car flips over. Yeah. And then, every, and then he's just like, oh, he like flips the, he picks the car back up because it weighs like nothing. And yeah, then well, various celebrities and like then, show up to. Uh, yeah, he kept him. asking like various celebrities, like, can you help me flip my car over? And then it did. Oh yeah, it has a motorcycle engine. That's the other thing. Yes. That's really popular among because you, because it was cheap and you didn't need a license. You don't need a, you don't need a driver's license because it it's not a two axle vehicle. And yeah. it had a motorcycle engine. Oh. Yeah. Yep. And so at one point he goes to like, uh, was it a Reliant Robin fan meeting? And he shows yes. up by like going at high speed and flipping it. <laughs> yeah. And they all like, <laughs> they all just like look at him. him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they had a I bunch of Reliant Robins. I think to my dad because he's one of those people that like go to a car show and can say, exactly what sub model of every vehicle is on display and all that other crap and which parts are aftermarket and all this other stuff because he works at an auto upholstery shop for the last like 30 years uh-huh so instead i learned nothing about cars to compensate <laughs> it's okay it's not feudal england you can take a different trade from your parents so the secret is that when we go we sit down to have dinner and we have literally no points of conversation Whoa, there's some people here that showed up with really badass looking laser beams. Like well, a giant yeah, cloud of floating blood that's never going away, apparently. <laughs> laser yeah, this beams. Is one of those, this is one of those missions where we were just supposed to hold out until these guys show up and then they start kicking its ass. It's very easy once the, our own military stops aerating us. Yeah. Also true. Yeah, if they had All he does is rampage around. He, he kind of sucks. He's always sucked. Yeah, he's probably one of the easiest bosses I've ever like fought in any video game. Of a, he is inside of a building, just kind of hanging out there, being like, it'll protect me. Yeah, he it took, won't. like, peak damage, so he clipped backwards through it during his damage animation. You're running away, or is that random? I yeah, believe he's, he's running away. I think we won the mission. I'm looking at how we did this mission, like, four times, and in reality, all Bird needed to do was go stand in the building. Oh, yeah, wow, what the fuck? The I just, wow, a bunch of exhaust just went into my face.
bus exhaust. Weird how that happened. Because I'm you... currently underneath the bus because Wander threw me there. <laughs> Out of the left, I thought you said, taste I thought you said there, bus bird. exhaust. I don't know if I can even hurt you. Well, you can't me emotionally. Can. Wander can. <laughs> I have a machine gun <laughs> rocket launcher. It's great. He came in like a wrecking ball. Emotionally. Wow. Zero items acquired. That was fucking worth my time. Hooray. We accomplished very little. We Yay. shot the guy until he walked away.